Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Fun math number 11. <laughs> fun math number 211. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, this week, just for fun, we've been talking about different kind of neat triangle formulas. And yeah. um, so, so far, we, you know, we already knew one half, the area is one half base times height. And then we learned the area is also one half the perimeter times the radius of the inscribed circle, right? Mm -hmm. That was cool. And then we learned area is the multiply the side lengths ABC over 4 times the radius of the circumscribed circle. Holy moly. Okay, and so today we're going to learn one, an old one for, that came from ancient Greece, or uh, ancient Greece. It's here out of Alexandria. Maybe he was from Egypt. Alexandria is in Egypt, yeah. right? Hmm. Actually, I should probably look that up. I don't know. Um, so, if you have a triangle, then the sides are A, B, C, and we let S equal half the perimeter, A plus B plus C divided by 2, so perimeter divided by 2. Mm -hmm. Huron's formula says the area is the square root of S times S minus A, let me write capital A so it shows up better, S minus B times S minus C. So it's a really neat formula, the square root of this whole thing. Okay, so this helps you find areas of, tri of any triangle where all you know are the side lengths. Okay, so if I have a, a triangle, just give myself a little bit more room, and the side lengths are, let's say, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. What's the perimeter of this triangle? It is 18. Okay, good. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, so what would S be? S would be 9. So the area is the square root of 9. 9 minus A. What's 9 minus 5? 9 minus 5 is 4. 4. What's 9 minus 6? 9 minus 6 is 3. What's 9 minus 7? It's 2. 2. Okay. Now, notice, by the way, that it doesn't matter what you call A, B, and C. Yeah, because I'm going to get 9 times 4 times 3 times 2, no matter what. Okay, now, before we multiply this out, do you notice a way you can simplify the square root quick before you multiply it out? We can bring, bring these two out. Okay, what, is, what do you get? When, what's the square root of 9 and the square root of 4? 3 and 2. So this is the same as 3 times 2 times the square root of... 3 times 2. 3 times 2, which simplifies to be? 6 times the square root of 6. 6 times the square root of 6. So how cool is that? Cool. Okay, so Huron's formula is really useful. Yeah. Because most of the time when you have a triangle, a lot of times, like, you know, if I go to the store and I buy a triangle and I bring it home, yeah. I can measure the sides really easily. Okay, so most of the time I know this, what the side lengths are. And then, right from there, I can just use Huron's formula to do find the area. It's actually a really neat formula. And uh, when we study geometry in a couple of years, we'll, we'll learn about this formula. But believe it or not, it's actually a special case of a even more complicated formula about quadrilaterals. Hmm. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about that when the time comes. So this is a, now a fourth formula for the area of a triangle. Pretty cool, yeah. right? You like these? Yeah. Like these neat little formulas?